Hello and welcome everybody to our video on Flashville where we will take basic to intermediate examples. Flashville is a feature that was introduced in Excel version 2013. You can find it under the data tab right besides text to column. The shortcut key is Ctrl E. Now let me take some examples to show you what does it do and why is it so important to learn it. Example 1. In column A, you have last name and first name separated by a comma. Now I would want to separate the two in column B and column C. I've shown two samples and if I choose any one of the samples and press Ctrl E, Flash will recognize the pattern and fills up the remaining blank cells. If I do the same thing for Bradshaw, let's see what happens. Ctrl E, there you go. So in essence, you have the input column and you have one or two sample output which will be used to prepare the algorithm. Now let me take another example, sheet 2. Suppose you wish to join these two different cells content in lower cases in the joining cell. Having shown one sample, all you have to do is press Ctrl E. You can also go to data and click on flash fill. Let me take example number 3. Let me go to sheet 3. Now, these four numbers I want to appear in the format as shown in column B. As usual, Ctrl E does the trick. Example number 4. From these company names which are accompanied by the exchange ticker, I just want to extract the exchange ticker in the adjoining column. Having shown one sample, I simply press Ctrl E to get the output. Now friends, this is one super fast data cleaning and extraction technique. And all these four examples were basic examples to give you a flavor of what Flashville can do. Now let me take some intermediate level problems. Consider this. I have a collection of names with numbers. Now, if you use the same technique as the previous cases, such as 219 to extract the number, you'll face one small challenge while using Ctrl E. That is, the preceding zeros will not appear. Now here comes the concept where you must know how to train the flash fill machine. In this case, I would have been better off had I given a single quote or apostrophe right before the number. This ensures the output is stored as text and using this as a precedent, as a sample, Ctrl E gives you all the extracted numbers stored as text thereby storing the zeros as well. This is very relevant in case you are extracting some bank account number or vehicle number. To illustrate this point better, let me take another example. What you see in front of my screen is a collection of bank name, followed by some bank account number and some code. Now I want to extract the bank account number. So I copy that, mm -hmm. I go to the adjoining cell, and since I'm expecting some bank account numbers to be preceded by zeros, I put single apostrophe and then I paste the bank account number. Now, using this as a sample, if I press Ctrl E, Flash will extract all the answers in the column. Now, ain't that fast? Yes, it is. And by now you must be asking, how can I get the bank name and the code out in two different columns? Now, in a lot of cases, when you use the same technique of flash fill in heavily unstructured data, it might not give you the correct results for all the cases, such as this. Control E does give me some preliminary answers, but it's not complete, as you can look from the answers in this area. Now, now what you may try once is give more samples. This will help flash fill to understand the algorithm better. So let me copy and let me paste it out here. Done. Control E, better but not the best. So in such cases, I propose using the old school technique of data cleaning along with the new school technique of flash fill. What do I do friends? Well, let me show you the power of the function substitute. I introduce the function substitute. It's nothing but the formula version of find and replace. It says, which is the original text which you want to manipulate? Mm -hmm. Selected. Then it says, what is the old text you want to take out from the original text? This is the one that I'm choosing. 
and what is the new thing you want to bring in. So in double quotes, I'm putting the pipe sign and closing the pair of double quotes. Closing the brackets, enter. You notice the original bank name along with the account number and the bank code has been modified in such a manner that the bank account number has been replaced with the pipe sign. If I copy paste this formula down, you can see the output in column D. Now, what do I do? Well, I select the entire block. I copy the data. I do a paste special value. And thereafter, I'll choose to use data, text to columns, and going to delimited section to go to next and choosing other wherein I put in the pipe sign. And as soon as I finish, whoa, there you go. So mixing the old school formulas and the new school techniques, we get the best form of data cleaning. So friends, we learned how to train flash fill. You should take more samples. You should take tough samples. If need be, use apostrophe or single quote marks for date, time and numbers with preceding zeros. Make sure there is no blank column between the input and output columns. Hope you enjoyed this short video on flash will, basic to intermediate examples. We learned how to train flash will and briefly saw the old school methods of data cleaning.